Hello and welcome to another Flora and the Novice Explorers video. We are currently two and a half months into our hopefully year long trip and today we've decided to clean the van. Yes, it's not been this bad since we've got it. I don't think ever. Today is a particularly messy day. Uh, we've been running errands and just chucking stuff back in the van, hitting the road, getting stuff out. And it is like an episode of Hoarders in there at the minute. It's disgusting. Filthy. So we're going to have a good clear out. And we have had requests for people to see mundane things that we do like this. So this is for anybody that's requested to see the inside of the van a little bit more and what we do day to day and how we deal with cleanliness. It's going to be a semi-deep clean. Uh, we're not going to touch the exterior because uh, we like the bird poop look, don't we? When it dries on and gets really crusty in the sun, it's quite unique. Yeah, it goes with the back bumper, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. First things first, let's get everything out of the van. I'm going to put the kettle on so we've got some hot water to do some washing down of surfaces and cupboard doors and things like that but not for a brew. Brews at the end when we've done it all, all right? So, ooh, whilst uh, Meg is boiling the kettle, I'm going to tackle a job which is a pretty constant one and that is sweeping the cab. Kettle's boiled so I'm just going to make a bucket of hot soapy water to clean with. So I've just got the remnants of our um, eco-friendly washing up liquid which is in there, which is in the jam jar because I needed to refill the other jar the other day. So just to dip in that, and we're using one of the dirty flannels, so we don't need to get a clean one for this sort of stuff. I'm on cutlery drawer duty, so I've got it all out spread, and I'm gonna put it back in nice and orderly. I'm trying to think of Things we use most at the front and things that are either a little bit dangerous and that we don't use at the back. So we only had laundry day the other day. So all this is all ready to go. And I've just had a look at the stuff that we wear and have worn that aren't quite dirty. They live up there. That's been tidied up. Bananas are out of the way so they don't get bruised. Uh, down here is where we keep all of our dirty washing. Uh, it uses a space around the wheel arch, so it's all nicely tucked in there. And then the, the uh, table goes over the top and hides it all anyway. These are the go-to area. All the essentials that we carry can go in there, but we're in and out of those all day, so inevitably they get a bit grubby. So I'm just going to give it the once over. They're not too bad, but over time they do tend to get a little bit grubby. I'm now going to clean the cooker, which is a very used piece of equipment in our van and it does get a bit dirty with either fat spitting, sauce splopping on the side and the odd bit of coffee grounds getting spilt and then burning on. Can we have a question? Yeah. What's splopping? Splopping is when it like plops and splats at the same time. Ooh. Remember to not neglect the solar panel. If you look after your solar panel, your panel will look after you. I'm just going to give it a quick rub down with this little damp cloth. Uh, it's prone to bird poop and general debris and dust off the road. And now for the bed, which is much more than a bed. It's a sofa, it's a workspace, it's a storage area and it gets a bit crummy and the sheets are clean because we did the um, laundry the other week. So we need to have a shake off and a remake. We are a little bit precious about our upholstery, so we don't see it very often anymore. It stays underneath our fitted sheet. I dread the days where I spill pasta sauce on it or coffee. We have removed the Velcro from the backside of it because A, my hair kept getting in it and it, didn't, it wasn't really necessary. Now for under the bed. We are very happy with the amount of storage that this bed design creates. We put all of our shoes, toolboxes, levelers, spare food and things like that and it's really, really great to have. But we have had a bit of a spillage, so time for clean up and R12. Now this is what two and a half months of grime looks like. We haven't managed really to access this bit. And this is where all the sand, the grass, the dirt, crumbs, God knows what else, gets stuck in between the two parts of the bed and gets swept with the felt that's on the bottom so yeah sorry mum should be having kittens 
So with the toolbox out, I think it's time to tackle some of the little jobs that I probably could have done a long time ago. There's just a few loose screws, a little bit of glue needed here and there, nothing major, but now's the time. So a little bit of old orange juice has leaked from under the bed with our recycling collection because we're still doing zero waste month. So I'm just going to give this a wipe so that it doesn't smell, doesn't um, entice any insects like wasps or ants and stays nice and fresh and clean. I don't think it's that great for sliding the tubs along the food cupboard. In a way it's protected the wood in the cupboard from the leaking orange juice. So that's a good good aspect of it so this is all the stuff that lives under the bed we've got a box of shoes a box of food a brown bag of our recyclable deposit scheme kind of waste um, our levelers our emergency european kit toolbox and there's another few bits and pieces that live in there like the bucket that collapses down and cal's little box of goodies too the last thing on the list is the food cupboard so I'm going to start with the utensils in the bottom and we'll be way up to the food actual food storage And one of my last jobs today is doing a bit of hand washing. Carl's asked for his hat to be washed, um, but the last time I did it, I shrunk the other one, so I'm not going to put it in with the laundry in the washing machines. And also our rag rug mat, uh, it's getting a bit stanky. So we're gonna hand wash it with some hot water, and I've got some e-cover uh, laundry detergent, but seeing as though we're here, we will be putting our water down the um, sinks. Cheers for the job, well done. It is so nice to have a lovely clean van again. Although it's taken us a bit longer than expected. Must, uh... Best part of three hours, but we've enjoyed it. Mm. And also filming for your benefit. It could have been done in about 20 minutes, but... Maybe, but you know. We, we do it for you guys, because you wanted to see this kind of thing, so... Some of you did. Yeah, some <laughs> of you did, not everybody. Everything's lasting pretty well. We're very happy with... Um, mm our quality that we've uh, given it. Yeah. The one thing that did happen is the entire table leg fell off when I was moving the table once, which was quite a shock. Yeah, I think we were a bit rough with it. The only thing that I have noticed, which um, is rectifiable, I suppose, really, is that my, my, the, the driver's seat is starting to bobble a little bit under where our bottoms go. So, thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down if you really want to. <laughs> <laughs> Please feel free to subscribe and share the video, it really does help us out. Yeah, but this is one of our Feature Friday vids, so the vlogs will continue on Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. We'll uh, see you in the next one.